Hi, uh, friends. Welcome to High Tech Institution YouTube uh, channel. So, in this video, right, we came up with a unique discussion called uh, the 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 group discussion. Okay, about uh, Terraform and uh, uh, cloud formation. How the infrastructure as a code works, and uh, what are the expected interview question in that? All those things we are going to discuss. Okay, here we have uh, almost four panels. Out of four, one person going to ask his various experience. Recently, he attended a couple of interviews and he, you know, collected all the interview questions. Let's get started. Yes, yeah, Sadish, handing over to you. You can give your introduction and we can start discuss about cloud formation and Terraform from now. Yeah, hi guys. Uh, thanks for being a part of the discussion. Uh, today we are going to discuss two interested things. Okay, which one for uh, Terraform and uh, cloud formation? Uh, most people tell those tools as a yeah, infrastructure support. Yeah, I have your doubt. So first of all, what is the infrastructure support? Just tell us what way you understand. Yeah, Hari, could you please tell us? So basically the infrastructure score, right? Uh, uh, it, it, when you go any organization, almost today everybody using cloud, either it could be AWS service provider or Azure or GCP, various providers are there. Depends upon the name, they will go and use the respective uh, services, uh, the respective cloud services. So uh, what the infrastructure code does? Basically, uh, when you go any infrastructure, uh, the, the customer will have multiple servers, their own networking architecture, security, you know, resources, and the monitoring things, and they will be having a uh, server's volume, backup, their load balancers, the entire infrastructure. Correct. As of now, right, we will be setting up everything manually. But when you have a Terraform or cloud formation kind of infrastructure so code uh, DevOps tools, what you can do, you can write a code uh, whenever you are in the need of provisioning any resource, right? If you execute the uh, Terraform code or cloud formation code, instead of creating a resources manually, it will, the Terraform or cloud formation will create a resource automatically according to our uh, convenient, according to our, uh, and, uh, you know, infrastructure best practices. So I would say in one line, uh, if you hit the button, the cloud resources will be in ready state, actually, in very quick span of time. That is a one word conclusion. That is infrastructure as a code. Entire infrastructure available as a template in the form of code. Terraform uses HCL as a code language. Uh, cloud formation uses JSON or YAML, that is a language. Using the code, we are summarizing the entire infrastructure and we are making it as a code. That is why we are calling it as an infrastructure support. Hope you got it. Yeah, I will explain. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, could you please tell me about the examples of infrastructure support? Okay. So, yes, uh, coming to infrastructure support examples, right? Yeah, as I said, uh, there will be a general, uh, you know, uh, tool called a Terraform where it will support all the cloud service provider, Azure, AWS, GCP, like that. If multiple cloud service provider, that's open source, uh, where if you go individual cloud provider, right, they also has a native uh, infrastructure as a tool. Uh, example, AWS has cloud formation. Azure has, you know, resource manager. And uh, you know, in that itself, we have a BISAP. Various things are there. The limitation between native uh, uh, infrastructure uh, tool, infrastructure support tool and uh, Terraform is the native tool will support only the corresponding cloud uh, only. Okay, where if you take cloud formation, it supports only AWS. Where if you take resource manager, right, Azure ARM, it supports only, uh, you know, Azure. Uh, crash functionality is not supported as of today. But where if you take a Terraform, right, that is a, a multi-cloud, uh, you know, universal tool, I would say. It supports all the cloud services. Single tool. If you learn one Terraform, you would able to automate AWS, Azure, GCP, various clouds, you would be able to automate it. That is the differences. These are the, you know, examples of uh, infrastructure as a code tool. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, coming to Morgan, uh, what is meant by CFT, Morgan? Cloud formation. Uh, guys, am I audible? Please confirm. You're audible. Yeah. Okay, so cloud formation is just nothing. It's an AWS service. Okay, so generally, uh, if you go in any environment, they are not, you know, going to set up the, their infra by manual through the console. Okay, so instead, what they will do? They, they are creating one template. Okay, so instead of that template, they design that respective infra which they're going to configure. Okay, so using that template, they can simply create a, their own infra. They don't want to uh, spend a lot of time to set up an infra. And then, you know, inside of CFT, they are using two kind of scripting languages, JSON and YAML. Okay, so using these two languages, they are, uh, uh, you know, set up a new infra. 
okay so and then the one more advantage in cloud formation uh here we don't want to do any manual pin okay so if you did any mistakes or something in your template it will not allow to uh set up the uh entire infra okay so you need to check the entire template if any if is there any mistakes in that template you have to fix it okay so and then it's dedicatedly for aws yeah well more okay. okay fine uh, coming to hari uh, what is the what is the purpose of aws cloud formation stacks yep cloud formation stacks right so whenever uh, we have any template as i said as i said um, uh, whenever we want to provision any resources all the infrastructure components and resources we will be having it as a script okay so when you come to aws we will have to maintain each and every stack to execute that code by the way when i execute the code the respective resources will be get created take an example i wanted to create one vpc vpc have couple of subnets internet gateway route table also i would like to create an auto scaling group the auto scaling will going to create a couple of instances this is my script is all about uh, take an example like that in order to execute the script right in aws i need some platform to execute right come to the aws console search like a uh, cloud formation when you go to the cloud formation the cloud formation will ask you to update the script what you have in hand okay for that we need to click on create stack so when you upload the code as mohan said initial uh, is there any error in the code right it will be not allowing us to proceed further it will throw you the error with the line number so if everything goes good if the script is ready right obviously the cloud formation stack right will allow me to provision the resources so future if i want to update something in the cloud formation or future i wanted to get some logs or i wanted to check some you know event i want to check the resource id whatever the stack will be permanent for that uh, the time when i ran the script so future follow ups can be done into the same stack similarly each and every activity whenever i use cloud formation it will be having the uh, cloud formation stack for us okay stack is the place where i can execute the script it maintains various of uh, you know uh, stack for each and every individual execution of my cloud formation script yeah okay ari coming to morgan how do you update an existing cloud formation stack yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, you understand yeah. Mm, yeah got it got it actually uh, there is an option to you know update the existing stack okay so using that option we can edit the existing template which we configured at the time of stack creation okay so we can we can edit it for example how we can edit it in the sense uh you have to add uh, one more resource in the template or you need to remove the existing resources in the template for example um you have a template for uh, vpc creation okay so in that time uh you are trying to modify to ec2 creation this is not allowed okay so the thing is you can modify it okay so otherwise you know you can't uh, modify to another resource if you wants to add any other resource you need to you need to append it actually you need to add a new line you need to add the source code in that new line after that only that line. okay so cloud formation stack we can edit okay so using that option yeah yeah okay mogan fine uh coming to hari how can you troubleshoot issues with a cloud formation stack the yeah, troubleshooting quite interesting stuff in uh, cloud formation and it's very user friendly as well why well, i'm telling as i said and mohan said when you create a stack right is there any issue or uh, syntax error in the cloud formation stack the cloud formation itself it will it will not allow us to proceed further so it will indicate us with the line number uh, line number 142 having a issue like we'll go there we'll fix the uh, syntax error uh, even sometimes syntax all good there are some dependency should be there in the script itself where it, the cloud formation stack cannot uh, you know identify in the first uh, phase of the script so on that case right when we create a cloud formation stack there will be a tab called event okay where we can see the progress of the script what are the resources are created which are in progress which are completed okay what is the state of each resources creation all those information we would able to track it from event tab is there any issue comes right it will clearly indicate with the error code in the event section literally i would say error log we would able to see again uh, this resource get failed due to the uh, particular reason this is unable to create due to this particular reason we will be getting with the error code definitely you can google it with the error code you will be getting the solution and another good thing about cloud formation is when it failed due to any uh, you know uh, syntax error or any dependency error or any uh, issue with the code 
what it will do whatever the resource it's created right it will automatically revoke it where we don't want to uh, undo the things manually the undoing and uh, no, uh, deleting the provision resources uh, will be taken automatically okay that is a good thing but ideal way what i follow for cloud formation is uh, end of day is only about uh, you know creation of uh, uh, no is identifying the error and the syntax while creation itself or from the event i'll get the error logs i'll troubleshoot accordingly this is the most you know similarities and common way uh, yeah hari uh, could you please tell us terraform major command terraform major commands yeah mostly right in terraform uh, it's very uh, you know uh, user friendly commands even you know the beginners can easily remember those commands i would say in my experience i'm talking uh, where uh, if you give terraform init right it will literally initiate the configurations uh, where it will check for the again it will check for the code any errors or any dependent or authentication those things will be uh, done it during the initialization process and also it will bring down some download some plugins Uh, the dependent packages when it needed next we will use a terraform plan command uh, that will help us to you know uh, get the sample output of uh, what it going to deploy okay when you give terraform plan you will get some rough idea what else is going to provision okay and third one uh, we used to have a terraform apply that command is to you know provision the resources uh, so when you give terraform apply that's it the resource will start provision okay so enter resource will be get created you can use terraform destroy command a destroy command will give you a you know uh, what are the resources provision you would like to know undo or you wanted to know remove the changes or you want to revoke the resources creation you don't want to have the resources anymore you can have the terraform destroy command and uh, terraform show command we can use uh, just to know uh, from the state file it will give you a uh, what are the resources are being provisioned those information will get and i i couldn't recollect one of the most you know important not not important and common command where we can from the existing resource what it created right we can manually generate the terraform state file actually we will not use it mostly most usually but we do have some commands for that as well so these are the most frequent commands i use regularly in our you know our premises yeah okay what is the terraform provider Terraform provider is nothing like as I said, right? Terraform supports multiple cloud environment. It supports AWS as well, Azure as well, GCP as well. So, Sadish, when you go for an interview, if anybody ask you about the Terraform providers, you need to you know tell clearly like what uh, you know uh, cloud service provider you are using the Terraform. Sometimes you will use uh, Terraform to automate something in the AWS. Sometimes you will use Terraform to automate in Azure. So we are letting. Uh, terraform knows hey this entire syntax we created for aws provider so we need to clearly highlight provider aws so when you give terraform in it right the terraform will come to know okay we are uh, go running the code against aws that is why provider has been updated with the aws same time when you are giving provider right uh, when you give terraform in it it will download some plugin and uh, dependent packages related to the provider actually again so i would say it's a mandatory portion of your script you can't skip the provider that will be your first line of your code when you start write the code that is all about the provider okay very good so coming to mogar now how do you manage sensitive information in terraform okay uh, actually uh, terraform itself there is an option uh, we okay so instead of that variable you can store the sensitive information like api keys and in aws cli credential you know those kind of information we can store it into that i'm just simply like a cft is parameters concept okay so if we are putting any parameters at the time of start creation uh, sorry in that uh, stack template in a sense at the time of execution it will ask uh, it uh, it will ask uh, some input some inputs to the user right similarly in terraform there is an option called variable so here uh, two option is that uh default and then uh, if you are not defining any default values in that uh, variables inside of that variable data in the sense uh, it will ask the input at the time of execution you need to provide okay so whenever you are giving a plan whenever you are giving a apply you need to give the input uh, after that only it will create the respective resource for it okay so yeah so this was the uh, okay okay uh, what languages are used for Finding configuration in AWS configuration or AWS cloud formation and Terraform. Okay, so I think we have already discussed there. Um, instead of cloud formation, uh, two templates. Sorry, two kind of language we are using. Um, one is JSON and YAML. 
So JSON for having some complex syntax like curly braces and the colon, you know, this kind of syntax we have to follow. But in YAML, um, there is no complications. We should focus on the indentation uh, for the resource deployment, for, sorry, for designing that in front. Okay, so these two things we have to focus in the JSON and YAML. And then coming to that uh, Terraform, instead of the Terraform, we are using a HCL language, which is, which is developed by Hashikara. I think you, you, you guys know that. Uh, it is similarly like a JSON template, but uh, the other thing is, so in some, some areas, the template, the template will be varying. Okay, so it's a CLX far, you know, setting an infra in that uh, across the multi cloud. Cloud formation, it's it's dedicatedly for to set up an infra in that uh, cloud, aid this cloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. got it. Um, final one, Hari. How do AWS cloud formation and Terraform handle updates to existing resources? So basically, wanted to know the you know how Terraform and cloud formation gonna handle the existing resource and updating. Yep. So uh, when come to uh, cloud formation, right? Uh, uh, there is uh, only way like uh, if stack is present. Okay, if the existing resources are created from cloud formation, you can click on uh, you know edit stack. There, I mean, there will be an option called update stack. You can have an update stack, so it will give you an option to re-upload your updated uh, JSON or uh, YAML uh, file. Okay, whatever the changes you have done in the new file, accordingly the stack will rerun with the state of update stack. So whatever the resources are created, right, depends upon the new uh, script what you provided, it will update the existing resources. Or if you want to newly provision some more resources, also, it will provision it. Okay, so uh, during the period of update, is there any resource has any dependency where uh, we have created a resource which has chain reaction with other, uh, you know, other dependent resource? That time there may be a chance that it could fail. Uh, but one thing for sure for cloud formation, you cannot pick the resources, uh, you know, almost. Uh, uh, existing uh, resources which are not created through cloud formation but uh, aws is telling like there is a tool called cloud farmer using the cloud farmer we can do it but i don't think so like how efficiently it's practically possible okay where if you take terraform right yes it's very simple and straightforward you can update the code terraform maintain there is a file called the state file the state file will holding all the information what resources are created okay with the reference of state file if you are updating any new resources or adding new resources or modifying the existing resources it will refer the state file whatever the changes you are actually having in your template right it will apply to the resources okay even any resources are not created from terraform we have an option to manually construct the state file where we can bring it under the custody of terraform okay this way terraform and cloud formation uh, manages and handling the updates towards the existing resources yeah well explained right? yeah thanks guys uh, i got um, some few doubts from my uh, terraform and cloud formation tools yeah we will end up now okay so we will discuss our next uh, one more video for interesting topics okay yeah thank you all before before winding up right i have one you know bonus content to the viewers those who watch the full you know entire videos uh, we are predominantly discussing about uh, cloud formation and terraform only so anybody know like a competitive tool for terraform when we ask this question to competitive competitor tool for uh, terraform people would definitely tell cloud formation is a competitive tool or azure resource manager is a competitive tool actually that is not a equivalent tool you already know right terraform is a multi cloud tool it supports multi cloud so actual competitor for Terraform is Pulumi. Anyone heard about Pulumi? P-U-L-I-M-I. Pulumi is the actual tool, is the exact competitor uh, for Terraform. The Pulumi also supports AWS, Azure, GCP, like how multi-cloud providers supported by Terraform. Similarly, Pulumi also supports multi-cloud uh, providers. Again, it's an open source tool. Uh, most of them not aware about Pulumi. In future, next to one to two years, right, people will also start talk about Pulumi and people will also start to use Pulumi. Okay, so this is just a bonus information I wanted to share to the audience, those who are you know watching this video. And I once again thank you all. Uh, we'll we'll meet you shortly with another one, you know, interesting discussion. If anybody wanted to share any of your feedback about how we can improve improvise this, uh, you know, uh, this content, you can feel free to mention in the comment section. We will take that as a suggestion. We'll keep add in the future videos. Okay, thank you everyone. Take care all.